Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My video today is responsibilities God has given to women. Stay tuned. How are you doing? Hope you're well. My video for today is responsibilities God has given to women and it goes like this. Countless of women around the world faithfully strive to honor God in their vocations in life and uh, uh, you know women are trying their best to know what God plans God has for them in their lives and I will take you through the responsibilities that God has given to women and they include the following and number one is to love believe and respect the Lord as it is written in the book of, of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 to 31 Proverbs, Proverbs 31 verse 30 to 31 and I will use the NIV version and it goes like this Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring praise at the city gate So a woman is not just outer beauty but also inner beauty and a godly woman is someone who fears the Lord does what God has planned for her life and someone who does the will of God in her life yes number two is to support the gospel work of the church as written in the book of Proverbs, I mean Philippians chapter 4 verse 3. Philippians chapter 4 verse 3. Yes, and I ask my true companion, help these women since they have contended at my sight at the cost of the gospel, along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers whose names are in the book of life. So, a godly woman is someone who, who supports the gospel of the church by donating stuff to the church, by, um, by praying for the pastors, amongst other ways. Yeah. Number three is to be diligent in her vocations as written in the book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 16 chapter 31 verse 16 she considers a field and buys it out of her panels she plants a vineyard Verse 20, she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hand to the needy. So, a godly woman is someone who helps others who are in need, who is dedicated to her duties faithfully. Yeah. Number four is to be a wife. As written in the book of Matthew, chapter 19 verse 4 to 6. Have you read, he replied, that at the beginning the Creator met them male and female and said, for this reason a man shall be leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. So, so they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore 
what God has joined together, let no one separate. So a godly woman is someone who is a helper to the husband, someone who loves the husband the way she is and then and submits to him uh, faithfully. And so uh, God created a woman to be a help of man. Yeah, and a woman is also a homemaker while the man is a home builder. Number five is to be a mother. As written in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 25. May your father and mother rejoice. May she, may she who gave birth, who gave you birth, be joyful. So a woman is a mother from the beginning. Before she conceives you, she for nine months she's a mother and so life begins before the womb i mean life begins at the womb and so um once the the baby comes out of the womb she conceives and she then becomes a mother yeah so a mother is carries a mother carries a child for nine months in the womb. Then after that she gives birth. Yeah, she is there from the time you're born up to the time you grow up. Yeah. Uh, abortion is one of the problems that this one is going through. Not only in this country, Kenya, but throughout the world. Yeah. So we need to respect life because uh, the unborn babies also deserve to, to be respected also. Yeah, hope you've learned something about responsibilities God has given to women. If you've learned something from this video, comment down below and bye.